hello and welcome to a new video in this video i'll be showing you how to install playstation 2 games on your computer stick to the end of the video to know the best settings that you can use to play on your low-end computers don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to help the channel out thank you let's get into it the first thing we're going to be doing now will be to download the necessary files the first website we'll be going to will be the pcsx2.net I have a link in the description now you get to this site you click the latest stable so it gives you the latest version and then you click the installer I'm not going to download this again because I already have them the next website you're going to go to will be the ps2bios.com and when you get to this site all you need to do would be to click on the download button download now and then it takes you to this site by clicking this this button download ps2 bios it takes you to where the bios files actually are and there is all this for usa europe japan and china i like to download all of them it's a pretty small file so i encourage you to download them all so you click this and you download that as well and finally you come to the google drive i've linked this in the description as well this is where i uploaded the ps 2013 iso and this is the game i'm actually playing on the ps2 currently and this is the game we're going to be testing with and then uh, as a bonus i added this website it's called cdromance.org you can find almost any ps2 game here you can see ww smackdown you can see gts and andres and many more you can just keep scrolling down and you'll see as, and you, you you can also search for the games you want so i have my files downloaded i have them saved on this folder called ps2 on my desktop I'm going to open it up and now it is time for installation the first thing we're going to do would be to install the pc sx2 windows installer i'll do this by just double clicking on it yes i use the standard installation and i think that works best but you could use the portable installation if you want to move it from computer to computer from at different times okay i'm going to choose the default um, installation location and then create a desktop shortcut install it's a very quick process and um, we are done i'm not going to launch right now i'm going to finish and then on this folder you can see my ps2 bios here i actually downloaded the zip file but i extracted it and this is it right here and then the ps2013 is also here and then i've also extracted it to this folder and if you open the folder you'll see an iso file now I'm going to open the PS2 emulator and set it up so we can play the games. So you select the language and then we have uh, the BIOS image. And because I have my BIOS image on this folder on my desktop, I'm going to navigate to that folder. Desktop, PS2, PS2 all BIOS, select folder. As you can see, it has detected all the BIOS files. I like to use the USA version. My game is also USA version, so for most compatibility or whatever. So next, now we need to navigate to our game directory. We need to add any folder and every folder that contains our PS2 games. And currently, I have just PS2013. I will advise that you put all your ISO files for your different games in one folder, so it can easily scan and get them. I'm going to look for my PS PS2013 folder right now. I'll click on Add desktop this and then um, select folder it's asking to scan and yes it's a quick scan it has already detected the game so i'm going to proceed now next now this is a controller setup i have my ps4 controller and i'm going to set this up now i'm already connected via bluetooth to my laptop so i'm going to use um yes a dual shock 2 I'll use the automatic mapping it has already detected my ps4 controller and then i'm going to proceed by clicking next and then click finish to complete the process and as you can see the emulator is up and running and our game is right here so we have that all set up and then before we play our game i would like us to check some important settings i'm going to make this full screen first and then go to the settings right here and we click on graphics 
Now the first thing we are going to check is our renderer. Now I like to go straight for my NVIDIA graphics card. So I'll select Vulkan and then NVIDIA G GeForce or whatever graphics card you have. You can also use the Intel Ultra HD and it works well as well. The next thing we are going to do will be to go to the aspect ratio and proceed to click here and make it widescreen. This is 4 is to 3 which is not very good. I prefer the widescreen 16 is to 19. The next thing we are going to do will be to click on rendering and then the internal resolution. I don't like using the native PS2 resolution so I'm going to take it up a little bit to... Let's leave it at 1080 for now. We'll leave the rest of the settings as they are and proceed to close this. Now it is time for us to open our game. My controller is still connected and now I can double click on the game right here. I can also double click anywhere here to go into full screen mode. Now we're just going to wait for the game to load up. If it is your first time of loading the game, you will be given some basic settings, but if you have experience using PS2, you'll be able to navigate through that pretty easily. So my game has loaded and we can proceed to play now. Okay, I might have to mute some sounds. I'm John Champion and covering this game alongside me someone who certainly knows plenty about playing at the top level and that's Jim Beggar. Hello John, hello everyone, it's a real pleasure to be here. And we're now underway. Pedro. No options for him in the box. Inside the box now. Cristiano Ronaldo inside the box now tries one oh and a real chance now they're on the attack a long shot Ooh. goal and the manager can afford to smile even if only for a moment as his team takes a first half lead just makes it look so easy. He's such a threat up front and worth his place in anti. There is no Pedro. Sergio Busquets. Puyol. Xavi. Messi. Well, he's shaking up for a crack from here. He can have a go from here. Belts it. Well held. The whistle goes and it's the end of the first half. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Just the one goal separates them then. It's 1-0. So that is how you set up PlayStation 2 games on your computer. And for those with lower end PCs, there are some specific settings that you need to tweak to give you the best performance. And the first one will be going back to the graphics settings. And then here, it comes by default as automatic, but then some people use DirectX 11 and some DirectX 12. So whatever works for you is what you should choose, or you can leave it as the default. But in the adapter, I do not recommend using the default setting. I recommend using your dedicated graphics card, which in my case is the Intel Ultra HD graphics. And then on the display, I'm going to keep the aspect ratio as widescreen. The full screen mode will be borderless full screen. And then on the rendering section, 
I'm going to set this to 720 or 1080, whatever works best for you. But PlayStation 2 games are relatively small and should not, you know, require much, much power from your PC. And so with that, I think I've come to the end of this video. If you have any comments, kindly leave them in the comment section below. And um, yes, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you.